Lord Vader, Lord Vader. Nerd soul. Late ill kid at one youngster holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. Once again, we are putting together some hip hop and that geek for talk shop. That's right, we breaking down some comics today. And one of my favorite comic books to talk about is of course, Darth Vader. And this is episode 15. We're still dealing with burning seas. We're out there on Mon Cala. The war is starting to rev up just a bit. And there's some, some decent stuff in this issue. I'm not gonna front. Like you have the, the mantle seemingly being challenged because the empire's here. You got Radis doing his thing. You got skirmishes here and there. There's a lot going on. But remember the last time Darth Vader actually got knocked deep, deep, deep underwater. It's like, you know, dude is about to die. And I like the lore that they added in his suit because as he's underwater, when he's starting to regain consciousness, his suit is actually saying, you know, pressure, you know, uh, pressure is too high for the suit and, you know, oxygen at 30%. This is just stuff that we haven't really gotten before, you know, in the, you know, of course on the big screen or even on, you know, the animation series, we haven't seen like his suit giving him kind of like, I guess, health updates or, you know, suit updates. So it was cool to kind of see that. Um, also, we got some sea creature action again in this. And we got to see um, this Kraken looking squeedish thing attack Darth Vader, but Darth Vader put an ill, you know, force move on him and ended up controlling that squid to be able to like, you know, ride him back up to, you know, to safety, you know, if you will. And I just love that time that we got with, with Darth Vader in a situation so dire where he did not panic, he did not squeal, he did not get worried. He was just like, yeah, I'm underwater. It, like the suit was, the suit was like, you know, the pressure's too high, you're gonna die, blah, blah, blah. There's only this amount of oxygen left. He didn't say a word, dude just got to work. And you get to see that he's just, he's this unmovable, unshakable, you know, even kill rock. And I like that we're getting more of that in this series. Also, I like how Vader kind of talked to the Inquisitors after they, quote, saved him. You know, he even said, yo, look, y'all have a mission from the Emperor. Don't worry about me. Don't come to save me. You handle that mission, which is to, of course, find the Jedi, kill the Jedi, and all that good stuff. And, I, you know, it, it seems like the duty is just so at, in such high regard for him. And I love how he's like, even if it's me, you need to do what you have to do. And I just really loved how he broke that down, you know, because even his, uh, I guess, you know, inquisitors, his trainees, his underlings or whatever, they were like, but we saved you. And he's like, fool, look, this is the Sith. You know what I'm saying? You don't worry about saving your master. You got to do what you're supposed to do. Ain't going to be no love over here. So I liked, uh, I just like how, how ruthless they show him. And especially every time you see Vader in this, he looks so baller. So, you know, the cape is flowing, he's walking with his, got his strut, you know, he just looks dangerous in all times. He looks more dangerous than anyone else that's around him, any panel in the comic. So I think that's really fresh. Um, I also like the King and Tarkin, and also the King and the Jedi. Um, of course, King Lee Char is underwater. They're not sure if he's dead or not because that big wave came in. And of course he gets saved. Um, and then we see the Jedi, uh, kind of with his underlings, his trainees or whatever, you know, talking about we might need to leave because of course the Jedi, are, I mean, of course the Inquisitors are coming, Darth Vader's on the way, and King Lee Char just realizing and recognizing what's at stake. Now, speaking of what's at stake, we got a lot of stuff with Radis to go through because Radis is that boy up in this issue. But of course, first, Cure Brand gonna help us pay them bills. Oh yeah, that's right. Check that link below. Hat, shirts, hoodies, all that jazz. And once you find something you like, of course, cop it. Now, let's talk about Radis for a second because we get to see a Counter-Strike from Radis and how effective he is, how collected he is 
in battle. Uh, there's even a moment where he he's talking to an underling and he gives off the idea that I'm actually happy that we're fighting against the Empire. And even that respect shown from Tarkin, you know, Tarkin to, you know, Raddus being like, yo, Raddus, I gotta give him his props because Raddus knows what he's doing. And just using like the uh, the metal covered missiles and all that to be able to bypass the sensors or the, the, uh, the shields, he comes correct and he is, he's to be feared. Like they follow through the kind of hard nosed general he is from the animated series right to these pages. And that's something that I truly, you know, just respect and appreciate when it comes to this book. Uh, these characters just seem so natural and it just seems like they're flowing right from the screen to the page. And that's something that really just, it just intrigues me and excites me about this book, Vader. Uh, there's of course other Star Wars comic books, but Vader is just, it's Vader, man, come on. Now, one thing I want to touch on before I bounce is the, the line from Lee Char about saving his people and saving the galaxy. Um, there's a underling of his, or I believe maybe, maybe it's the doctor or the physician, asks, is that you talking or is that the Jedi talking? And of course, you know, Master Barr has been having conversations with him. And I think they've gotten on the same page of like, the Empire isn't just doing this on your planet. The Empire is doing this on all planets. So we need to figure out a way to, I guess, basically save other people for themselves. And I'm, I'm just in love with this issue, the way this came out. Um, also seeing Tarkin at the very end, basically saying, look, this is gonna be a prolonged event and we need to escalate this. And, and the next issue, it, it get straight up flames, yo, straight up flames. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit later, but of course, holla at me, I'm gonna holla at you. Down in them comments, let's talk about Darth Vader, issue 15, we're still in burning seas, and King Lee Char is getting ready to get his second win and strike back. So we're gonna see what happens. But of course, before I bounce, I wanna tell you guys to hit up thatnerdsoul.com. That's right, check me out right there. All my videos from the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, and all that. Then hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player. Don't forget to get one for them playettes. Then come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nerd soul. That's right, there's no better way that I can show people that you, like what you, are watching. So, LA, what up? V, what up? RVA, you got my heart. And please, be good to yourselves. Please be good to each other. And remember, if you're ever underwater and you're attacked by a large squid, just use the force. Peace.